all collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties. Today's video takes place in our witch's attic bedroom, featuring our cabinet of curiosities. I thought this was fitting because today we are taking a look at Monster High G3. On October 1st, the core dolls were released. I bought most of my dolls on Amazon, like Claudine, Frankie, Laguna, Draculaura, Deuce, and Cleo, as well as the Draculaura Gorgonizer. And my dad found Gulia and the Deuce and Frankie Coffee Break 2-pack at Target. Thanks, Dad. The coffin bean is on its way. Hopefully, it will be delivered today. But I haven't been able to find Torlai. But we do have the Ghoul Spirit one, so that will have to do for now. Priced around $24.99, here is the Frankenstein Core Doll. We have colorful box art on the back and details about the character at the bottom. Monster type, Voltageous Franken Monster, Monster Must Haves, Eye Coffin, and Screech Za. Yeah, you got me on that one. Monster Pet, Watz. I'm probably pronouncing everything wrong, so sorry about that. Out of the box, it is possible to balance Frankie to stand. They have blue skin, black, white, and blue hair, bolt hair clips and earrings. And if you look closely in the eye, you can see a little pink in the corner. That's cool. There is a painted eyebrow piercing, rosy cheeks, yellow eyeshadow, a pink lip color, printed stitches, a silver colored prosthetic leg with little doodles. The feet are on an incline. This doll is fully articulated with rotation at the neck, at the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, chest articulation, rotation at the hip, and they can bend at the knee. They come dressed wearing a vest with printed details. It velcros in the back. We have some layering. There is a white shirt with bolts printed on it underneath. We have a collar and some puff sleeves. Then there is a pleated plaid skirt with a plastic silver colored chain belt. It does say Frankie and has a few details attached. Painted platform shoes, loving the painted details. The hands appear to be removable so we can put on the included jacket. It's a varsity jacket with pink, black, white, and blue. There's a picture of a skelet on the back. Oh, and check that out. The skirt is pleated all the way around. We have a blue lightning bolt backpack with a little charm. There's some straps. Mine is open at the top. Here's their pet. It appears to be a stationary figure. Frankie also comes with blue glasses, a camera that has little pictures. This one says Boo York, and this one is Scaris. There's a cell phone that fits onto the doll's thumb and a pizza slice with little spiders and a ring for the doll to hold it. Accessories are always one of my favorite things. I'm glad that these dolls come with so many. Claudine Wolf, monster type, Clossum Werewolf slash human, Monster Must Haves, Fur Eliminator Brush, and Blue Moon Spookies, Monster Pet, Crescent. Oh, I get it. Blue Moon Spookies, as in cookies. And she can hold it. We can balance Claudine to stand. She has pierced ears, wears black earrings. Her hair is this tan pinky gray color with a little bit of, uh, what is that, fuchsia and some brown. It has a little curl to it. It might need some attention out of the box. She has a terracotta colored lipstick with a gold shimmer, purple and blue eyeshadow, freckles, and a painted nose. Wears a pink and black long sleeve shirt, gold necklaces, purple overalls with an animal print. There's a black graphic on the bib. She wears a gold belt, black leg warmers, purple sneakers, with gold colored painted laces, little moons, and bottom of the sneakers is a gold plastic. You can see little paw prints on the bottom. And Frankie has lightning bolts. 
Claudine comes with a black bag. It's actually pretty soft. We have some gold little claw marks, a purple moon, a little charm, and does it open? Yep, there's a little slit in it. She comes with a purple and black faux fur vest. I love all the layering. She has gold glasses, a comb, her pet, which I think is now a wolf, a bag of howl puffs, there are details on the back, and a cell phone with a little wolf on top. I removed both doll's shoes for a little size comparison. Frankie does appear to be a little taller, but not by much. Claudine has sculpted fur on the side of the face, at the wrist, and the ankle. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the sculpted fur or the painted nose. I know I should leave it on, but I can't. And I'm going to remove this. Then twist her hair. Then let's do a hot water rinse. I used silicone oven mitts to protect my hands. And then I rinsed it with cold water to go ahead and cool off the hair and seal in hopefully the shape. And I just towel dry it to remove the excess water. Once dried, let's separate the curls. Then I do a little top ponytail. All right, giving her a look that is similar and the hair is nice and soft. Here is Deuce Gorgon. Monster type, ghoulist gorgon. Monster must have sunglasses and snake hair wax. Monster pet, Perseus. Here's Perseus. Looks like a mouse with two tails. And the arms can move. Deuce is green with snakes for hair. Wears a green jacket with working pockets on the chest. There's an orange snake down one sleeve and it's finished all the way around. He has a sleeveless shirt underneath with a snake graphic. He has dark green pants with a snake on one leg and a stripe down the sides. Cream colored shoes with a purple snake painted at the top. And at the bottom you can see another snake, little yellow, I'm sorry, green eyes, fangs, and the bottom of the shoes are painted red. There are scales on the bottom of the shoes. He doesn't have chest articulation, but he does have a joint at the ankle. He comes with snake hair wax, a water bottle, a cell phone with a snake on it. I'm loving these personalized phones. He has a cupcake on a plate with a snake on it, sunglasses that fit under the snakes, and an apron. Oops, almost forgot his purple bag. That can open. Like I said before, loving all the accessories. Look, we can actually put the photos in the camera. Draculaura. Monster type, fantastic vampire. Monster must have SPF 500 and cherry juice. Monster pet, count fabulous. She's a curvy petite doll, has long pink and black hair, pointed bangs, her ears stick out to the side. She wears a pink headband with a bat wing bow. Her eyes look to the side. She has a little black heart, pink and black earrings. She has a pink ring, which I know I'm going to lose. Looks like she has a cameo necklace, a faux leather bat wing bow, a pink corset top, long sleeve sheer shirt with ruffles, black and white shorts, knee high stockings with a ruffled edge, pink heels, a black and pink cape, at least I think it's a cape, a heart backpack with bat wings. This is adorable. And we can put stuff in it. She has sunglasses, SPF 500, a pink web bag with a bat pretzel that has a face on it, a cell phone with a bat theme, and a red cup of cherry juice. And let's not forget Count Fabulous. Gulia Yelps, monster type, totally brainy zombie. Monster must have skateboard and brain puffs. Monster pet, Sir Hoots a lot. Gulia is mint green with straight blue hair, wears pink glasses. Under the glasses, she has blue eyes, pink, yellow, gray, and green eyeshadow tombstone earrings. Are they removable? They are. 
wears an oversized black and white jacket with a stripe down the side. It says brains. The jacket pattern continues all the way around. Under the jacket, she has a short sleeve black shirt with a little heart brain on it, a pink patent leather drippy skirt with a plastic zipper on the side, silver boots with pink painted laces, and black painted brains on the bottom. Is she petite? I guess not. She's about the same size as Claudine. She comes with a gray beanie with a brain graphic, a pink Monster High skateboard with a picture on the bottom, a handheld video game, a green and pink cell phone that kind of looks like an ice cream cone with brains, a bag of brain puffs, the back is decorated as well, and Sir Hoots a lot who can perch on her arm. Goya also comes with a blue brain backpack that can open. Laguna Blue, who is now pink. Monster type, splash tastic sea monster. Monster must haves, shell phone and kelp crisp. Monster pet, Neptuna. Laguna has had quite the makeover in G3. She is now pink. She has blue freckles. I like the little scale pattern on the forehead. She has pastel colored hair, which might need a little TLC out of the box. It's styled in a ponytail with a black coral hair accessory, two white pearl hair clips in the front. Her ears look like fins. She has a pearl earring on one side and a fishbone earring on the other. She wears a white shell necklace, which is very cute, in my opinion, of course. She wears a pink hoodie with mesh sleeves, a graphic on the front, a black ribbon going down the sides. The hood has scales and fabric fins. She has tie-dye shorts with ruffles on the sides, wears a fanny pack with teeth. Her legs fade to blue at the bottom. She has little fins coming out to the sides. Really cute sandals. I kind of love them. There are fins and scales sculpted into her arm. She has a pink shell phone with a printed graphic on the other side, a box of fish crackers, a water bottle with a little fin detail at the top, glasses, a shell backpack, a bag of kelp crisps, Here's the back and a bathing suit. And I think it's cute. However, those fins do create a little bit of an obstacle when dressing the doll. For me, anyway. I gave Laguna a quick rinse and removed some of her hair clips. And I think she's cute. Cleo Denial, one of my all time favorite Monster High characters. Monster type. Fabulous Royal Mummy, Monster Must Haves, Sarcophagus, and Pyramid Backpack, Monster Pet, Tut. And to me, she is beautiful, but she has a lot of tinsel. She has long blue hair. It feels pretty good. It is going to take me forever to pull all that tinsel out. What? I have to but I am totally not gonna get through this today. So a little bit every day until it's done. She has a gold colored headband with painted turquoise and orange details, beautiful makeup, a little touch of gold on the lip, gold colored triangular earrings, a gold necklace with turquoise, orange and green. She wears a long sleeve dress with sewn on gold ribbon. The print continues around to the back as well as the gold ribbon. She has a gold, green, and turquoise belt, boots that look like they're wrapped, have gold painted details, and turquoise and orange at the toe. Lots of little details on the bottom of the shoe. One hand and arm has sculpted wraps, as well as one of her legs. She comes with a crop jacket with a ribbon fringe. Yay, I got a lot of the tinsel out. Focus, Toya, focus. Here's her pyramid backpack. It's gold and it opens. This is Tut. She has yellow sunglasses, a gold and black cup. The top is removable, a wrap. 
<laughs> That's clever. A little diamond compact, which feels like a throwback to the little diamond she used to have under her eye. Love her phone. Can they hold their phones to their head? Wait, does that work? So far, Cleo is definitely my favorite. Here's the Draculaura Gorgonizer, where we can create our own gorgeous look. At least that's what the box says. I really just wanted this for the doll, but it does come with a coffin shaped case. There's a little classic skelet on the front and we should be able to open this, right? How does it open? Oh, like that, lift up and then over. <laughs> okay, we can do this. There's a tray for some accessories and then this lifts up, giving us a coffin for Draculaura. This was $42.99. It has a little black skelet, compact mirror, a heart stamp. We're gonna try it out for demonstration purposes. Oh, wow. Two little bat hair clips. And I do think these will clip onto my locks. A pink comb and stickers. Are these nail stickers? Cause I kinda love that. With this Draculaura, we get a new look. She has little white heart freckles, black hearts under both eyes. Her hair is pink and black. We have a softer cut on the bangs. She has a little bat wing headband. I like that her outfit is still in layers. She wears a black see-through top and a pink dress. It has a design on it that goes all the way around. She wears a black choker and chunky black boots. Hey Monster High, will the stickers be sold separately? Just asking for a friend. And this playset doll has the same articulation as the core doll. Yeah! Deuce and Frankie coffee break. Frankie needs a spookachino ASAP. Deuce quickly whips up a drink so Frankie can jolt and bolt to class. What? Loving this look on Frankie. The bolt earrings are genius. Black and white hair with a tiny touch of blue in the back. I like that. There's a bolt hair clip, which is a little clunky in my opinion, but you know, I'm kind of biased against hair clips. Their eyes are looking to the side. The eyeshadow is different over each eye. There's a patent leather boxy jacket with a plaid print, a white short sleeve undershirt with the same print across the chest. The tie and collar is plastic. Black patent leather high-waisted shorts, plastic chain around the waist, really nice bag with painted details. Is that an outlet? Cause if it is, I love it. And there's a little battery sign on the back. The bag has an opening. Same eye coffin design as the core Frankie, only it's a slightly different shade of turquoise. And the picture on the front is different, which is awesome. They wear pink boots, one tall, one short. Frankie's monster pet has a new look as well. It's silver. Deuce comes dressed in a purple orange ombre hoodie with a snake graphic on the front, mesh sleeves. It has a pretty large hood. He wears a green coffin bean apron, black and white pants, highlighter yellow shoes with silver wings. Here's his monster pet on a little snake motorcycle with a trunk in the back for deliveries. Deuce comes with sunglasses with a snake on the side. There are lots of little drinks and even a green tray to carry them in. And it looks like each drink has a different doll's symbol. A little pink boba for Draculaura, a lightning bolt for Frankie, and maybe both of these are for Claudine. And it comes with a coffin register. I like the little stone finish. And we get another snake cupcake. And arriving just in time, here is the coffin bean. It was $42.99. We get a barista counter. There is storage on the bottom for food items. A little sign on the side that says coffin bean. Loving all of that detailed work on the side. There's a little roof and a menu on the side. Hmm, let's see. What do I want to order? There's a paper bag filled with more accessories. I'm loving this lack of plastic packaging. There's a silver tray with some snacks. 
a spiderweb cake on a cake stand with one slice cut out, a brain cupcake, a cup with black stuff dripping over, a drink with an eyeball, a tray of cookies, a bird and a cat. Oh, there are two drinks and they come in two different color cups, two cupcakes on different colored plates, two forks that look like hands, another cash register. We can use this to make our coffee. These little handles turn and the cups fit underneath so we can make an espresso or a cappuccino. Sorry, my coffee knowledge is limited. Let's put the cash register on top. Maybe it's self-serve. You know, those places where you can check out and order by yourself. Here's a little skull. It might be a perch for the raven. We have a cover for the cake. Let's put some of those little cupcakes underneath. How many brain cupcakes do we have? Do we have three? Here's a to-go coffee cup. There's another display where we can display Deuce's other cupcakes. We have a coffin table with two chairs and a couch that is hollow in the back with a green spiderweb coffee table. And it has bird legs or dinosaur. And we have two plastic eyeball pillows to finish the look. I guess Deuce works here since he has the apron. Oh no, he's going to turn the cash register into stone. <laughs> See what I did there? And I totally love how these two sets tie into each other. Oh, there were two of those cups. And most of the dolls came with a snack, so they have something to eat. Well, except the Draculaura Gorgonizer. She took that pretzel from the core Draculaura. And that's my Monster High G3 collection so far. As an adult doll collector, I kind of love it. That doesn't mean I'm not a Monster High alumni fan. And a pink Laguna is gonna take some getting used to. But I like the articulation, the sturdier bodies, and all the little details. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Monster High G3. Let us know in the comments down below if anything caught your eye. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.